Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology and in this video lecture we want to talk about phospholipids, particularly the phospholipid structure, degradation, the types of phospholipids which are used uh, in um, providing and producing the structure of cell membrane as well as uh, the different types like gly glycosphingolipids uh, as well as glycosphingolipid structure and degradation. So let's begin to talk about the phospholipid phospholipids and sphingolipids. So first of all phospholipids. We'll talk about the phospholipid structure here in this side and we'll also talk about uh, the degradation of phospholipid. Let me write it here, the degradation. Okay, degradation in this right hand side. So let's first talk about the phospholipid structure. So when I say phospholipid structure, <clears throat> the phospholipid can be classified into two different types. I can put them here like this. One is the glycerophospholipids. Glycerophospholipids. And another one is sphingomyelin. Sphingomyelin. Okay, two types. Now, the glycerose phospholipid is a uh, consists of, it consists of what? Glycerol backbone. Glycerol backbone, right? It consists of glycerol backbone and uh, that leads to two different types of structures from here. Two different types of structures that contains one alcohol one alcohol structure okay and the other one is phosphate group phosphate group and the third thing that is two fatty acids okay so two fatty acids okay now in the alcohol part in the alcohol part what are uh, the the content that are present as an alcohol part it can be serine as an example it can be ethanolamine, okay, ethanolamine, or it can be choline, okay. So, based on the type of alcohol present, it can be inositol, it, it can be glycerol. Based on the type of alcohol content present, we give them different name like uh, phosphatidyl serine, phosphatidyl ethanolamine, phosphatidyl choline, phosphatidyl inositol, phosphatidyl glycerol. All these things, okay, because they have the phosphate group separated with two fatty acid chains connected to it. On the other hand, if we talk about the sphingomyelin, that that particular part, sphingomyelin, I can break them down, okay. Sphingomyelin is consisting of the backbone, the backbone of sphingomyelin, okay sphingomyelin backbone and that again can be divided into three different sections one is again an alcohol an alcohol as well as a phosphate group phosphate group and again the third thing here is only one fatty acid not two so this is a uniqueness here is only one fatty acid in case of uh, the glycerophospholipid, it's on, it's two uh, fatty acids. So the alcohol content here can be only choline. Okay, so the example of sphingomyelin we found is uh, the choline type of alcohol, and there's only one phosphate again. So these are the two different types of phospholipid in its structure: gly glycerophospholipids and sphingomyelin. Now uh, let's talk about the degradation of the phospholipids. Okay, so degradation of the phospholipid. Degradation consists of. Let me again move it. Let me draw the two different type. One is again glycerophospholipid degradation. So let me write it here: glycero, glycero phospholipids. This is one type, and the other type. Let me write somewhere here. The other type is again sphingomyelin, right? Sphingomyelin. So we are talking about the degradation to both. So I'll write degradation, sphingomyelin degradation and glycerophospholipid degradation. Okay. Now glycerophospholipid degradation is uh, catalyzed by phosphatases. Okay. It is catalyzed by purely by the enzyme 
phosphatases okay so phosphatase enzyme break it down into some components what are the components the component can be glycerol okay the, all the structural constituent it is also the fatty acids okay the third thing is again phosphate remember all the component that actually build uh the glycerophospholipid are the so the last thing is the alcohols as well okay so these components are produced similarly the sphingomyelin if we can break it down the sphingomyelin can be broken down by uh the like the sphingomyelin degradation is catalyzed by sphingomyelinase protein uh, enzymes sphingomyelinase sphingo sphingo myelinase enzyme okay sphingomyelinase enzyme and that can uh, produce uh, like that causes a deficiency okay that causes a deficiency uh, that leads to uh, that leads to the formation of a disease known as niman known as niman pick niman pick okay niman pick disease the deficiency is forming niman pick disease which is characterized by some important features and facts that is the sphingomyelin accumulation in the liver sphingo or sphingomyelin accumulation okay accumulation in the liver okay sphingomyelin accumulation in the liver and neuro degrade neuro de degeneration okay so neuro degeneration which is kind of type a neuro degeneration okay which is associated with this niman pick disease so these are all the different types or what i can say the st structure i mean the formation structure and degradation of phospholipids that we know now let's talk about uh, one more thing now let's talk about the idea of uh, glyco uh, sphingolipids okay so glyco sphingolipids not glycero but glyco sphingo or sphingolipids whatever you say again in glyco sphingolipids we are going to talk about its structure in one hand we are going to talk about its structure obviously on the other hand we are going to talk about its uh, degradation degradation of glycosphingolipids so if we talk about the structure of the glycosphingolipids again let me divide the structure can be classified as uh, two different components which is present in here one is the natural glycosphingolipids uh, the natural natural glyco sphingo lipids can be found okay and it can be acidic acidic glycosphingo lipids glyco sphingo or glycosphingo lipids these are the two things okay two types now the natural one let me take another color here the natural one here consists of ceramide ceramide it consists of ceramide uh, ceramide means it contains sphingosine sphingosine backbone plus a fatty acid together okay and that leads to one or more sugar residues okay that leads to formation of one or more sugar residues to be present in the structure while the acidic glycosphingolipids consists of again the similar the same same kind of structure same things so again they are also consisting of ceramides okay and the ceramide again the sphingosine backbone plus fatty acids okay in this case one or more sugar residues are present like this so one or more sugar residues are obviously present but along with that it also carries n acetyl 
न्यूरामिनिक एसिड न्यू सॉरी एन ई यू इट शुड बी एन ई यू न्यू रेमिनिक एसिड इट कंटेन्स एन एसिटाइल न्यू रेमिनिक एसिड इन गैंगलियोसाइड इफ इट्स गैंगलियोसाइड ऑब्वियसली इन गैंगलियोसाइड एज वेल एज आई मीन और or it can also contain it can also have a sulfate group a a sulfate a sulfate group it carries a sulfate group where in a uh, sulfate group on a galactose galactose okay and that is found in case of in sal fa tides okay so this is the structure of glyco sphingolipids okay so many people may always confuse between glyceros sphingolipid and glyco sphingolipid but glyco sphingolipid structure is totally different from the glyceros sphingolipids now the degradation part how exactly they are degraded let's talk about that the degradation is simply like you know if i write down the glyco sphingolipids here glyco sphingolipids mouthful of name uh it finally you know with different stages will produce uh sphingosine backbone sphingosine backbone is released and it will also produce sulfate ion so for 2 minus it also produces sugar as well as choline sometimes okay because this is the only alcohol content that can be present and <clears throat> all these components that is uh, produced as a result of which all of these components can be used uh, by like inherited enzyme deficiencies that has you know, okay inherited they are related to inherited enzyme deficiencies okay and that leads to the sphingo lipidosis leads to sphingo lipidosis okay and the sphingolipidosis or sphingolipidosis which is formed here that may cause disease like tay-sachs tay-sachs disease okay gaucher disease okay or crabby hope i got the spelling straight crabby disease or send off disease again all the disease named after someone fabry disease or faber disease okay so all this type and gm1 gangliosidosis gangliosidosis gm gm1 ganglio cidosis disease okay these are the diseases which is caused due to the degradation of glycosphingolipids so this in a sense is all the type of uh, phospholipid structure and degradation as well as the uh, glycosphingolipid structure and degradation so we talked about the glycerophospholipid structure and their degradation we have also talked about the glycosphingolipid structure and their degradation right so i believe you have a clear understanding of this you can take screenshot or you can write down this big picture of phospholipid structure and degradation glycose glycerophospholipid structure and degradation and glycose phospholipid structure and degradation as well if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and do subscribe to our channel to get more and more videos like that in future thank you very much bye